Hello everyone, and welcome to another new video, on my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create, and configure a shared folder on Windows Server, and share the folder with domain users, whether all domain users, a specific group, or specific users. Shared folders are essential for effective collaboration, in any organization. And Windows Server provides several ways to create them, whether through File Explorer, or Command Prompt. Or, as we will show today, the Server Manager dashboard with NTFS permission, and you will know step by step how to set up a shared folder, and assign access permissions, to a specific group, to share files securely and organized. I have a domain controller called, ok.local, and the server name is Doit Server, and I will create the shared folder, and share it with a specific group, and by opening Active Directory users, and computers. We will specify the group with which we want, to share the shared folder. I will share the shared folder with the OU called test, and this organizational unit includes a group called, test and this group already has more than one member, including the user test win 11, as I will explain how to access the folder through a client running Windows 11, of course you can share the folder with more than one user, and more than one group. And this is what we will learn during the steps, to create and configure the shared folder. Well, I will start with the first steps, by returning to the server manager dashboard. Click on file and storage services, from the left hand navigation pane. This section is where you manage storage groups, and shared folders on the server. Then, click on shares in the left hand submenu. Here, you will see a list of all shared folders on the server, including shared folders created by the system such as the CSVOL folder, which is very important in Active Directory environments as it contains group policy templates, and logon and logout texts, that are replicated across all domain controllers. And the NetLogon folder is another system share that stores logon scripts, and policies used, to authenticate domain users. And to create a new shared folder, click Tasks, and from the drop-down menu, select New Share. This will open the New Share wizard, through which I will create a new shared folder. The first screen asks you to select the share type. In the new share wizard, for most use cases select SMB share, which is the standard option, for sharing files and folders. Then click the next button, to continue. In this step, select the server on which you want to create the shared folder, from the available list, in case you have more than one server. After that, select the folder where the shared folder will be located, or select the type custom path option, so you can specify the path, of the folder you want to share. Specify the path of the folder, you want to share, and you can also create a new folder, by clicking new folder, and giving it an appropriate name, and by selecting the folder, click the next button to continue. In this step, you can give a name by which the shared folder, will appear to users, by default, the name of the shared folder, will appear with the same name, but you can give it another name, if you want. You can also enter a description of the folder, and the reason for sharing it. You also have the local path, of the folder that we will share, and also the path by which you can open the folder from the client computers. To share the folder with users, click on next to continue. In this step, you will find advanced options to configure the shared folder. Make sure to enable the option, enable access based enumeration, as this option hides files, and folders that the user does not have permission, to access. Leave the default options as they are, then click next. Here, in this step, select assign permissions, and then the permissions determine who can access the shared folder, and what they can do with it. Click on customize permissions, to modify access. Thus you can modify the default NTFS permissions, by default the folder we want to share will inherit NTFS permissions, from the parent folder, so it must be disabled. So click on the Disable Inheritance button, and thus make sure that only the required users, can access the folder, and delete any user who has access permission, except the administrator and the creation owner, and to add a user or group that has access permission to the folder, click on the Add button. Then click on Select Principle, from the top. To select the group you want to add to give it permission, to access the folder that we will share. Enter the name of the group you want, you can also allow more than one group, or user to access the folder. Then click OK. Here, you can give permissions to the group you added, and grant it permissions. Set the appropriate permissions, such as read, or full control. Here I will give it another permission, which is write, 
so that the user can create folders and write on them. You also have advanced permissions to give you more permissions and thus you can grant the user or group the permissions you see fit. I will also give a delete permission so that the user who joined the group can delete folders and files from this shared folder. After you're finished specifying the permissions, according to what you see fit for this group that you have selected, click on the OK button, and click on the Apply button, and OK. By returning to the new Share Wizard, click the Next button to continue, and review your settings on the page. And if everything looks good, click the Create button, to create and confirm sharing the folder, with the group that you have given access to the folder. Click Close button, to close the Share Wizard window, and you will find in the Shares section the name of the folder that we have shared it listed in the shared folders on this server. We have one more step left, which is to check the shared folder on the client computers, so I will test the connection to it from another computer on the network. I will log in to the client computer with the TestWin11 account, and this user is a member of the group that we gave permission to access the shared folder. Keep in mind that any user who is not a member of this group will not be able to access the folder. To access the shared folder, you can open the run box and enter the path to the folder as it appears. On the screen, this path was specified when creating the shared folder and click the OK button and the folder will immediately open without asking for permission to access since the user has the right and permission to access the folder. If you do not want to access the folder every time in this way, copy the path to the shared folder and open this computer. Then click on the three dots to view more options and select Map Network Drive. Select the drive letter you want. Then, paste the path to the shared folder, confirm the activation of the option, reconnect when logging in, and click Finish. The folder will appear to you as a drive on this computer to facilitate access to the shared folder and thus the user can create a new folder on this shared folder and he can also change the name of the folder and he can also delete the folder these are the permissions that we granted to the group that we added and thus the user because he is a member of this group thank you for watching in this video I demonstrated an effective way to create and configure shared folders using file and storage services this process is essential for managing storage groups and shared folders on your server providing better control over NTFS permissions, and ensuring secure access to shared resources. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and share it with others who might benefit from it. And if you are a new viewer, I invite you to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials on IT and server administration. Your support motivates us to provide valuable content for you. See you in the next video.